All right, so it's been a while. I have not recorded a video for a while for a reason. It's because I basically have nothing to say. I feel like uh, I always need to do some work on the inside. I need to uh, acquire more knowledge. Uh, I need to sometimes uh, reflect on things and uh, just take a step back and overview where everything's headed. So there's a lot of kind of complex ideas that are floating around in my mind that I really want to get off my chest. Right now I'm actually in split Croatia. Uh, I've been on this uh, pirate ship. I'll probably throw some clips of this whole thing. Uh, my buddy Dustin had some drone footage. Uh, it just looks incredible. So we've been on this thing for about a, a week now. And when I arrived on into Croatia, this is my 29th country, it was a pretty surreal experience for myself. I can remember almost four years now. Uh, I've never left the continent uh, of North America, and I remember getting my uh, first passport uh, stamp from Sweden and just thinking, fuck, I have so much more to explore. Um, uh, I have just only one. I wish I could fill up my passport a little bit more. Now Croatia is my 29th one, and uh, it's, it's a pretty surreal thing when I think back uh, and look at my passport, for example, and see all the passport stamps and the journey I've been on. And where I'm trying to lead is things have really hit a turning point uh, since I arrived into my 29th country compared to uh, the first time when I first took off overseas in September 2012. And it's really, really harder to put into words because it's just so real, it's surreal experience um, that I've had uh, thus far and what's crazy is because I'm at a turning point um, and things are changing for the better in the, the financial department and a huge thing I've always wanted to share is that you should never allow finances and not having enough money or uh, and all these excuses to prevent you from traveling and because I feel that I'm one of the very few people in this world living today that have um, just you know dropped out of college and took off overseas with no like income using whatever money he had and didn't have um, just to really fulfill that that need to see the world and um, it was a very scary scary road um, walking this journey because there's no one before me or who've ever I know, uh, shared some wisdom or advice for someone who really wants to travel the world but just can't uh, financially uh, afford it. So fast forward four years from that moment for me, uh, I'm very, very, very humbled by the journey. Um, there's been a, a countless amount of experiences, um, places I've seen, um, learning more about myself and what I want out of my own life and discovering more um, of, uh, about my own personality and um, what makes me fulfilled in life. Um, and the crazy thing is a lot of people are always striving for that next goal, go, go, and uh, trying to hit that next thing. But now that I've had hit a new, uh, my, my financial goals, I found myself kind of, kind of sad, kind of sad in a way that I won't be doing such crazy things anymore to travel. Like for example, I've uh, eaten usually for like a month and a half straight just so I can save enough money to pay for rent. Um, I've been homeless in uh, Stockholm, Sweden because I was taking train rides down to hang out with friends and go out and work on my social skills and uh, I'd be homeless and I, couldn't, I didn't uh, have enough money to stay in hostels or anything so I would stay up all night over the weekend and take a train back up at 7 a.m. and do the same thing over and over and I did this for about two months. Um, I've, I've done pretty crazy things, uh, very, even for example spending $300 a month uh, one time. And the thing is, uh, I feel, really feel like I will miss those moments. Um, and that even now I find myself always wanting to hit that next, that level, next goal. 
Um, but the real beauty in all of this is just, as you probably hear this a lot, but it's just following the journey um, and really enjoying the moment. It's very send out as that is. Uh, it's just so true. It's so, so, so true. Um, because at the end of the day, we're all headed to one destination at, at the end of our lives, which is death, basically. And when you focus too much into the future, trying to accomplish this, thinking that once I get X, Y, Z, then I could be super happy. But really, it's whatever you're doing from day to day. So that's why it's so important to um, try to figure out what you want to do, have more self-awareness, what makes you happy, and do that now. You don't need to wait because um, I think at the end of the day, all of us are trying to find fulfillment in life. Um, but people kind of focus too much, including myself too, some, uh, sometimes that it's just this goal that now I get that, I'll be super happy. But um, you hear it all the time. Um, so many su successful celebrities and uh, business owners and all that stuff, they say, yeah, once they hit that successful level, um, it wasn't as fulfilling as they thought it would be. So that's a huge thing I, I honestly believe that all of us need to take in. That um, that thing that we're always striving towards uh, is not going to make us fulfilled in life. It's what you want to find is what you really enjoy doing from day to day. And um, what you're doing day to day will get you closer to your goal. But moving forward in the process of it are both fulfilling as it is. Um, so uh, that's really what I want to share right now. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy uh, past seven days. Uh, a lot of things are going to change uh, from here on out. Um, actually, I, I wasn't going to release this clip, but now it just came back to my mind. Um, I, I shot a video, the last remaining hours of me being 23 years old, and I just wanted to get things off my chest. And uh, I was being very vulnerable, sharing things I don't really talk to a lot of people about. So in this video, I, I talked, I just let it all loose because I know that there was a turning point at that uh, at the time on my, like the day before, a few hours before my uh, 24th birthday. And um, now that change has happened as of right now. Um, so I'm just gonna release that, put this at the end of the clip. It's gonna be really raw, just me just talking and you'll see a lot of behind the scenes things and I hope that you uh, see um, uh, the, the lessons that I wanted to share in those experiences. I am currently experiencing the last few hours of uh, the age of 23 because I am turning 24 tomorrow. Tomorrow is my birthday. And because these last remaining hours are very scarce, they kind of made me take a step back and just see everything I've gone through leading up to this moment, turning from 23 to 24. And what really first comes to mind is the struggles. A lot of struggles leading up to this very moment. Now, I know you've probably seen some travel videos of mine or just these clips of me traveling around the world and stuff, um, but behind the scenes, there were definitely a lot of struggles. So. The thing is, I don't want people to just assume that my life is perfect, that I don't have any problems, I have no stress, I'm just living the dream as a lot of people say. That's just not, not true. It's, uh, I do have a very normal life compared to uh, a lot of people. Um, but the only difference is that I get to travel around the world. But I guess I do live a normal life. I do, do work, I go to the gym. I like going out, meeting new people. I like seeing new things, experiencing a lot of things. And with all that said, I wanted to share more of the struggles because yes, I, I, like I said, that this image of everything's perfect does come out a lot these days. You can look at the most successful people in the world. You think, oh, they have it so easy. They probably got their money um, from parents or all this nonsense. And the, th the thing I've noticed with these successful people, they talk a lot about the struggle, but a lot of people find it hard to believe because 
they're like, well, you are successful. We don't have any proof that you were struggling at the time when you were the 20s and stuff. So I feel like I'm very in a very fortunate position to actually share more of those struggles because uh, I have been struggling financially um, for the over three years now. Um, I do what I can to travel. Uh, I do make a lot of investments into travel. And now I'm entering a, a phase where everything's about to take off financially. Um, I'm gonna be in a much better place and I wanted to uh, just let you know more of the struggles and how the struggles that I go through aren't really that bad and the stories, the adventures, the people you meet are just, it's something that you remember for the rest of your life. And it's kind of funny because I do work remotely and when you work remotely you can travel around the world because all you need is an online uh, internet connection. So if you can work remotely and get paid while you're overseas, how can't you travel? Now, I mentioned that I've been struggling financially over three years, and that's the truth. But I don't allow that to hold me back from traveling. I do use some uh, travel hacks, as people call it, but it's really not travel hacks, it's just something you gotta do if you really wanna travel. So it's funny enough, um, the past six months uh, have been a pretty tough time for me. And in one of my videos, I, I said that I was going through a transitional period of my life. Cut to that scene. The past few months, I kind of took a break from making videos. I've gone through a very transitional period of my life. And the thing is, it's not over. I'm still going through that phase. It's been almost three to four months since I shot that video that you just saw. And I am still going through that transi transitional period of my life. And a lot is happening. Um, I, I really have no idea what's going on. My hormones are changing, my values in life, what I want, my, my vision on what I want to do with my life is just really changing. It's, I'll probably expand on this on different videos. So going back to the struggles, yes, uh, I, do make some, I do do some odd jobs to make cash overseas. And the thing is, I don't fucking spend a fuckload of cash. Um, I spend like, on average, 600 bucks a month. And the thing is, people are shocked that, oh, 600 bucks, how the hell is that possible? Well, what you don't see is, um, when I moved out of my flat in uh, Krakow, I decided to sleep on the floor and a sofa at my friend Alex's house in Budapest. Now, the guy who's filming this video, Tom, we we're talking about this one moment, like, dude, we're gonna look back on this moment and this moment was, me and him were swapping between a couch and sleeping on my yoga mat, which is on the floor, day after day, going back and forth. So we're like, fuck, I have the fucking yoga mat tonight. Oh yes, I got the bed tonight. And it's, that's, that's the thing. We did that, sleeping on floors, uh, not, we weren't spending money because we were like really struggling and we want to invest any money we have right back into our businesses. And. A lot of people would say that, oh, that sucks. I know my grandma would say, oh, that feel, I feel so bad for you. Uh, you should be sleeping in a bed, why on a couch, why on the floor, and all this stuff. But I really don't think of it as like I'm a victim. I think that all the struggles that you're gonna go through, one day you're gonna think back and just think, wow, those were some of the best times of my life. Um, I know in the coming years as I get more successful and have more uh, financial abundance. I'll be staying in luxurious places, but I'll still look back and think like, shit, I ran into those times when I was sleeping in train stations over the weekend in Stockholm, Sweden, uh, because I didn't have enough money to afford a place to stay. And that's the beauty of traveling in your youth because you can afford to take these risks. You can afford to do these type of things that would cut your costs low. Um, I, I really encourage you to do this. This is, this is a huge thing that I've been doing for the past couple years that has really allowed me to live a, let's say, rock star lifestyle at a very inexpensive cost. Um, and it's just a very cool thing that I, I strongly believe everyone in their early 20s should start doing things like these because you can 
you can learn to appreciate the little things in life. I know a lot of us take things for granted, um, a lot of things, but when you do uh, embrace these struggles and accept it, you're just much more thankful for the life you're living. And that's how I feel now as I'm <laughs> turning into 24 years old. Uh, 23 is leaving me and it is kind of a bittersweet moment, but I just wanted to capture some struggles on this uh, footage for you before things really change. Um, yeah, just a lot of thoughts are coming to mind, like the whole journey over the three years up to till this moment. And it's crazy because a lot of people like to promote online business or all these things that's so simple to make cash. But I've gone through a long three-year journey, over three-year journey, doing a lot of odd jobs I wasn't interested in uh, necessarily, uh, like passionate about. Uh, I just saw it as another way to make money. I just saw it like a job. So I left, I like hopped over to one, to the next, to the next, to the next. And I'm finally finding things that I really, really enjoy. And the rewards are paying off. Um, and the thing is, because of all those sacrifices I've made and really cut down my costs and invest money back into my businesses, it's paying off now. And in a few months, I have a strong feeling that I will have uh, much more financial abundance um, that I've always been working towards. And I don't want anyone watching this video to ever use the excuse that I don't have enough money to travel around the world because quite frankly, that's a huge excuse that holds back millions of people. That was an excuse that almost held me back, but I decided to make the best out of it. If I didn't have money, what else could I offer? You can offer your good company, you can offer to help out around the house, you can offer any skill sets or services that you've acquired throughout the years back to your, whoever you're staying with. And when you do this, you start traveling around the world for very inexpensive. And uh, seeing a lot of places around the world, meeting incredible people, and you can confidently say that you are living life to your fullest potential. And as I approach my mid-twenties, as of right now, there's no regrets because I, I visualized moments like that in the past where I never wanted to look back years and just think, shit, I wish I would have traveled the world. I wished I would have uh, visited these places I always wanted to. I wished I pursued um, this passion of mine and all these type of things. So I really hope you're enjoying this video. I'm about to enjoy the last remaining hours of my 23 years old. So with that said, thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.